welcome to our class and today's class let me revise the chapter 3 and everyone's ready and today's class we are going to revise the chapter 3 okay children everyone take your English concept book and take page number 44 first let's revise the new words everyone's open your mouth Presented, it means gifted something. Parage, a form of cereal boiled in water or milk. Overflowing, it means flowing over the edge. Hurriedly, it means quickly. Generous, it means being a kind and ready to share. So, everyone's clear about the new words? Good. And let's revise the story. Everyone subscribe and listen the story carefully. The title is The Sweet Parage. We revise the story. Once upon a time, there was a little girl named Anna. She lived with her mother and they were very poor and did not have anything to eat. They survived by eating fruits from the forest. And Anna was a good child and always be kind and help to everyone. One day Anna was in the forest to collecting the fruits and there she met an old woman. This woman had a special power and she knew that Anna was sad and wanted food for herself and her mother. She also knew that Anna was a kind and kind girl. So that old lady think she wanted to reward her. And so the old lady presented Anna with a little part. This was a magic part which could cook. The old woman told Anna the magic pots cook little pot cook the pot immediately cooked. The pot cooked good and when she said stop little pot the, cook, the pot stopped cooking. It was very amazing. Anna was very excited and relieved and thanked to the old woman with a hug and big smile. Then she took the pot home to her mother of course, her mother was also very happy with the magic part. And now we can eat food whenever we like. So they ate sweet porridge as often as they wanted. They also gave a porridge to anyone who was hungry. They were generous and kind. One day, Anna had gone out of her house for some work. Her mother became hungry and said the path, cook little path, cook. And it cooked sweet porridge as usual. When she had eaten till she was satisfied and she wanted the pot to stop cooking. But alas, she did not know how to stop the pot from cooking. So it went on cooking more and more porridge. The porridge was overflowing from the pot, still went on cooking. The kitchen and whole house was full. The porridge soon overflowed into the next house and the next gradually the whole street was covered in the porridge. No one knew how to stop the porridge. Part. At last, when only a single house was left, Anna returned. She looked in surprise and the streets full of parish. Hurriedly, she said, stop little part and it stopped. So everyone wanted to go back to their house. So they had all eat all the parish to make their way back home. So the stories end. What did you learn from the story? We learned be a kind like Anna and her mother. Good. So everyone's clear about the story. Good. And let's revise the concept connection that is homophones. What is homophones? We have already learned about the words have the similar warning. There are many words that sound same but have a different meaning. Let's learn about that. Homophones. A homophone is a word that is spoken or pronounced in the same way as another word but it has a different meaning or spelling. Hum, homophone is a word that is spoken or pronounced in the same way as another word but has a different meaning or spelling. Homophone is a word that spoken the same pronunciation, sometimes same spelling but it has a different meaning. For example, pear, pear. I love eating a pair for breakfast. Rom is wearing a pair of green shoes. So everyone's clear? Let's more the some example. Sun, sun. S-O-N, sun. 
S U N sun. It's a different meaning. The same pronunciation, but it give a different meaning. So everyone's clear about this grammar? Good. Okay. So everyone's be prepared well for your chapter three assessment. Everyone's read practice zone in your book bag and workbook. Okay. Everyone's refer your book bag questions and concept book. Okay. And everyone's read chapter. Three new words in your class work note. Okay, so everyone prepare well for your chapter three assessment. And tomorrow session we will have a test. So everyone read well and write your exam well. Okay, children. So thank you, thank you so much. Everyone prepare well for your test. Stay safe and stay home. Eat healthy food and drink more water. Stay safe and stay home. Thank you, children. Thank you so much. We will see in the next class. Thank you.